Hi everyone, it's me Joanne and as promised I'm back with another video and this one is to mainly show you guys my mini albums. Um, well with this video I'll just show one mini album that I've made um, sometime last year and I wanted to show you guys because it's one of the latest ones I made. I haven't been crafting in a while but um, since I've noticed that most of my videos are either swap, swap spracks or um, hauls, not so much uh, on my crafting stuff. So as a new year resolution for myself, I thought I'd show you some of my creations. So here it is. And well, this one is, sorry if I can get, um, get this in a, view this better. This is my Sweet Fairy mini album by Prima. Um, and I'll explain to you like all the products I've used. Um, I didn't fix it before I before I showed you guys, but um, I thought I'd do it in, do a video right away. So let's see, we'll fix it as we go along. But um, I mainly use, um, I guess lightweight chipboard for all these pages and I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven pages and it's pretty thick because it's filled with flowers and it's just bulky that's that's just the way I make my mini album so the paper collection is by Prima Sweet Fairy and I love this paper collection, perfect for princesses or little girls. And this one's for my um, friend's daughter. Um, she had a baptism last year, and so I thought as a gift along with, um, um, well, our main gift, um, since my husband's a godfather, um, I thought I'd make her mini album. So her name is Jasmine Mar Mariah, and so I've used... Um, just the paper collection and then um what do you call this um punch use my martha stewart punch uh, for the edges and then this one's um a prima what do you call this a prima rosette trim and then i just put like a basil um button bling in the middle and then just put some rhinestones and then the, the alphas are from um prima alpha set as well and then the side, I just bound it with um, with my singe and with white um, coils. And then I um, tied the, tie the around um, Prima laces or lace trims on the side or crochet trims, I believe. Um, on the side and some like um, ribbons from my stash. So that's the front. Now I'll try to be really quick with this one. And then this. The inside um, on this part I just left it plain and then I was gonna put a message on here but I forgot to so I've already given this to them but then I um, thought I should take a video and then I just put um, Prima lace on the side and then on this side I lined this edge up with um, the Prima crochet as well with the tattered angel frames um, postage frames that are also embossed. I left it plain. I put some, I believe these ones are recollection flowers and some um, bling, recollection bling run right here as well. And then the flowers here mostly are from the same paper collection um, which is a sweet fairy. It's in the essential. Um, it's in one of those Prima tubes. It's called the essentials. And then I just put like a dollar dollar store um, um, bling right in the middle there. And then this one pulls out. Basically, um, how I constructed this mini album, I used um, regular, what do you call this? I don't know the size, but it's an envelope. And then I just cut it to the size and then um, left, um, left this top open. And then use a semicircle or my circle punch to punch the edge or the top and then it's basically a pull out so she's so cute so I put um, for a picture of her there 
And then on the other side as well, it's another picture of her. Isn't she cute? But um, yeah, she had light. She, I always work with photos, guys. So a lot of my mini albums already have photos in them. And that's how I get inspired. So that's what I did. And then on the other side, or the next page, so we'll leave this out actually. Um, it's also another page um, of her photos. And then it says Sweet Baby from the paper collection. I just cut out the, the there's die cuts in, in the paper collection as well. And then I also um, use my Martha Stewart punch to um, punch the edges. And then this one, just a trim from my stash. So I usually keep mine simple because um, when I'm doing a mini album with photos, I mainly focus on the photos, not like all the embellishments or um, taking your eyes away from the photos kind of thing. But um, well, that's my style and that's how I like to do my mini album. So this page, I just made this, um, oh, there's a little rhinestone in there. I just made this flower and and then I just put one of those basil bling in the middle button and then I lined it with another um, Prima Prima trim sorry it's a little comfortable uncomfortable sitting in the floor guys and then this is um, the pebble from the same collection by Prima and then a dollar store butterfly and then some sprays from the dollar store as well and then I put a rhinestone or sorry, um, Mommy, recollection bling on the side here. What's that? Mommy, I need to have water to wash my hands. You sit here and wait for mommy, okay? I'm doing. I'm recording right now. Okay. Sorry, guys. Back to the mini album. Um, and then I just matted it with um, with uh, what do you call this? With the same paper collection, and then punch it with my Fiskars punch, I believe. One of those on. Um, punch around the page. Who's as well. Jasmine? They're Jasmines. Just sit down, Ooh, baby. Just sit down. Baby Jasmine's pictures. I know. Just sit down. And then another mat um, or a full uh, a page for full of mat or a pull out a tag. Sorry, I can't talk. Gabby, don't touch them right now. Leave them, okay? Just wait for mommy. Sorry, guys. And then on the other side is another picture of her. I just left. The tags mainly um, simple because I want it. I want this to be able to fit in the envelope. So that's what I did. And then on the next page, there she is again. It says from small beginnings, and then down at the bottom says come great things. And then I use my Martha Stewart butterfly punch right here, and another Martha Stewart butterfly punch right on top, and then put um, rhinestone bling on on top of the butterfly and then use um, recollection bling there pebbles from the same paper collection as well as the flowers right here and then Gabby come back here what do you have in your hand you better not lose that okay. and also um, I believe this one's a resin um, flower from recollection as well um, one of those flowers by Prima. I don't know the name. Sorry guys. And then some recollection flowers. Small rose flowers. So yep, that's another one. And then on to the next page. I use my, um, this is a trim from my stash. It's a wide trim. It's about this, this, um, this tall. And, or sorry, this tall. Yeah, and then I just cut it up and then put it in an angle and made, used it as a pocket. And then I lined it with um, half flat back pearl um, trim on, on this side and on this side. Flower from the same paper collection as well as these ones and then the pebbles as well. And then these ones are pullouts or they're tags. So they're just her pictures right there. I'm sorry for the glare it's rainy outside and gloomy so it's a bit dark in this room I'm using artificial light and then this one as well I just use um, rhinestone 
for um Gabby, can you stop that please? From the dollar store. And then there's another picture of her. So I'll just put that on the side. Hopefully I remember actually I'll put this in here because I might not remember to put them back. And then another tag. That's just her. And another picture of her. There you go. And then the next page. And then same deal with these ones. Um, recollection, cherry blossoms, um, a trim for my stash. And then it says, I am loved. And then I put a mirror right in here and then stuck on some um, recollection, or sorry, not recollection, pebbles from the same collection, recollection flower, and then um, recollection bling, as well as um, a, a, a die cut from the same paper collection. And then what else did I forget on this? Nope, nothing. So like I said, I kept everything simple. And then this one, um, I used, um, I think I got this spray from Joann's and um, it's in one of those dollar, dollar floral section. And then um, a flower from the same paper collection, Martha Stewart Butterfly with um, some, I believe these are recollection half flat back pearls as well, mini pearls. And then I just um, put on some recollection roses on the spray and then curl the the stems or what do you call those? The, the wires. <laughs> and then there's another picture and then I use my Martha Stewart edge punch again on this side. Hope you can see that. On uh, next, oh sorry, the tags. <laughs> So there's just her picture there, and then her picture with her mommy. Her mommy's a good friend of mine. There you go. And then the, uh, sorry, this page is um, a mommy page. So I put um, mommy there, Gabby. And I think, I'm not sure which, I think it's by Little Yellow Bicycle. And it's in one of those, um, it's one of those baby collections. Gabby, sorry guys, um, my daughter's here and she's playing around with all this, um, with, with all the beautiful things I got from Cassie. So I'm trying not, for her not to make a mess and lose everything. And then um, I used my Martha Stewart punch on this once as well. To just make a little bit of a border uh, dollar store butterfly and then a Gabby stop it and pebbles um, from the same paper collection there you go and then here you go is a daddy page um, with her dad and so I um, also use my Martha Stewart edge punch around here to make a mat for the photo and then just use the rhinestone bling um yeah sorry recollection bling and then flowers from the same paper collection in the tag and then that's a family photo of them and then on the other side is another family photo i'll just put that aside and then on this side is my last page pretty much. I lined it with um, a trim from my stash. I believe I got this from Joann's. And then flower from the same paper collection. And then this one says, um, it's um, one of those, I I cut out some, um, what do you call this? I think they're called journaling cards as well, or a die cut from the same paper collection. And then I put a sentiment on here. Um, I think it's by Making Memories. It's called, um, it says, 10 tiny little fingers that always want to play, that never stop exploring the, the, one, the wonder of today. 10 tiny little fingers that from the very start will reach out for tomorrow, yet always hold your heart. Author unknown. Um, and then some Prima, 
Prima Pearl Bling here. And then Prima, Prima Butterfly as well from the same um, Satan Pearls, I believe. So, and then that's just a photo of her fingers, or hand. And then on this side, I, same with the front, um, front page, kept it simple. I just lined it with Prima Lace or pretty much trim so yeah that's it you guys um that's my first mini album posted on posted on here so i hope you guys like it let me know what you think of it um and take it easy on me um yeah so hopefully um you guys like it but there you go and i'll post another video of um another mini album i've recently made so or not recently but one of the recent ones most recent ones so sorry enough blabbering sorry guys um uh i hope you like it and thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe have a good day guys bye